So in today's video, we are going to see few very basic points of C++ that is how to take inputs, how to take user inputs, correct? How to print the outputs, what is a test case loop, what is a test case variable? You may have seen this in many questions, how to take a test case variable, okay? A test case variable is used in many, many questions. Now how to output, how to input, how to output and how to take user, how to take test case variable, how to use test case variable okay we are going to see these three things these are the very very basics of uh, any language fine so let's see this in c plus plus so we are given a question the question says you have to take two inputs two inputs from the user from the user and print print their sum as output print their sum as output okay so for example we are going to take four and five sorry four and five and print 9 as an output fine or we are going to take 5 and 7 and print 12 as an output okay so there are two inputs and one output two inputs and one output and this is my input and output format fine now what is the meaning of input and output format here because you have seen this also so in input format what we have is simple there are two in two inputs in the input format two inputs and nothing else and nothing else and in the output format there is just one single variable one single variable or, or you can say one single output one single integer that represents the sum that represents the sum that is one single integer and nothing else so you do not have to write somewhere these things down that take two inputs in printf or in c out take two inputs or enter two numbers enter two numbers okay or like this sum of two numbers is sum at the end sum of two numbers is equal to sum so you do not have to do these all things fine because in the output format there is just one single integer so you just have to print the sum directly you have to print the sum directly okay so what we are going to do is we are going to take two variables that is two inputs from the user okay store them in store these inputs in two variables then print the sum then print the sum it is very very easy so let's start with hash include hash include std std oh sorry io stream this is io stream then using namespace std fine so now what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of these two lines are explained in the video lectures okay both the meanings are explained in the video lectures int main and here return zero okay these all things int main namespace std io stream are in the video lectures are in the video lectures okay we just need to take two inputs four and five or five or seven correct so what we have to do is we have to take two variables to store these inputs so let's say the variable names are a and b so int a int b so what is the meaning of this line this line is nothing but we are declaring two variables we are declaring two variables of type int two variables of type int what is the meaning of type int variables okay what is the meaning of type int that is both the variables a and b are of type integer are of type integer okay now what is the meaning of this thing that is a and b can only store integer values they can only store integer values okay so 3 and 5 and 4 and 5 are all integer values so this is okay then c in and two angular brackets a and then again to angular brackets b so this means that now we are taking user input c in means we are taking user input okay if you are familiar with c this is nothing but scanf it is scanf percentile d percentile d and here m percent a comma m percent b okay this is nothing but scanf you can use scanf in c plus plus also you can use this line instead of this line if you are familiar with c plus plus if you are familiar with c okay and what is the meaning of these two slashes that i am using these are the, these are comments these are comments you will know what are comments in the video lectures as well okay there it is explained what are comments fine so we have now two inputs that is a and b our values are stored inside a and b so let's take one more variable in result and we will store in the result a plus b okay a plus b so we have our result now if we input 4 and 5, 4 and 5 are stored in A and B and A and B will give us 4 plus 5 that is nothing equal to 9 and that 9 is stored in the variable result. Okay, then what we have to do, we have to output it. So C out, for the output we use C out. 
it is nothing but result it is nothing but result and it's done and it's done okay so what we are doing we are taking two input variables and we are printing our output variable okay and these variables store the values these variables store the values obviously you can use here printf also as you have used in c okay so we can use percentile d and here result now as you have seen that i haven't written the sum of variable a and b equals to result no you just have to print the result and nothing else and nothing else so let's now run the program and let's take the inputs let's take the inputs for example if i give 4 and 5 the input will become 9 the output will become 9 okay so here 4 and 5 so the output is 9 so if i have to test it one more time so i have to run it once again and i have to input 5 and 7 so the output will become 12 now if i want to test it once again for some other input values for example 10 and 100 so the output will be 110 then again if i have to test it i have to again run it and this time for example 20 and 30 so the output will become 50 as you can see here okay so whenever i need to test my code whenever i need to test my code for different values i have to run it again and again i have to run it again and again so to reduce that we have a test case variable we have a test case variable okay so in the input format the input format changes now what you have is first line contains test case variable okay test case variable t variable t okay this tells us that how many times do you want to test your program how many times do you want to test your programs and then each of the next t lines contains two inputs okay t lines contains two inputs two inputs that is nothing but a and b that is nothing but a and b fine so this is what we mean by a test case variable okay now for output format also what is changes is for each test case for each test case print one single integer that shows the sum that shows the sum so for example i have to test my program four times so i will write test case variable as four and in the next four lines in the next four lines that is each of the next t lines so in the next four lines i will give two inputs for example three and five seven five and seven ten and hundred twenty and thirty okay in a single program in a single program so this was nothing but our input our sample input correct then what will be our sample output so the output will be 3 plus 5 equals to 9 for the first test case 7 plus 5 is 12 for the second test case 110 for the third test case and 20 plus 30 is 50 for the fourth test case now in a single program by running a single time we can test our program by four times four four times so for that just take a single variable in t c in t and this program now needs to run t times this whole four lines of my code needs to run for how many times t number of times so for in this cases we use loop we use now if you do not know about loops and what is increment and decrement operators for example if t is not equal to zero if i write it here so this is is all explained in the video lectures this is all explained in the video lectures okay in the end t equals to t minus one t equals to t minus one so for example t value is four so what happens here 4 will come okay is 4 equal to 0 no it is not equal to 0 so we will come inside and here t value will be decrement to 3 then here 3 t value is 3 then t value will be decrement to 2 then to 1 and then to 0 so how many time it ran it ran for 4 times it ran for 4 times it will not run for 0 time okay so 1 2 3 and 4 so this is how my loop my program will run for 4 times now let's see so i will run it and now what i can do is I can simply put this input i can simply put this input in a single line so let's say four three five so the answer is eight okay right? five and seven so the answer is 12 10 and 100 so the answer is 110 20 and 30 so the answer is 50 so as you can see here now i do not have to run my program so many number of times i do not have to run the program four number of times because of my test case loop because of my test case loop so this was how test case loop is taken this is how test case loop is taken okay and this is how we take the inputs of variables this is using c in or scanf in c plus plus then this is the result that is storing the value of a plus b and then we are printing the result then we are printing the result okay this is how it is done this is how it is done
fine so this were the basics of c++ okay or any language this is how you take the input this is how you output the result okay then this is about the test case loop that is used extensively in competitive programming okay in almost every question you will get a test case loop and it is nothing it is same lines every time you have to write these three lines in t take the test case input use the while loop and at the end use these two lines okay in between these lines you have to write your code in this in between these lines you have to write your code so every time what you have to do you have to just do this write your code here okay so in between these lines you have to write the code every time write the code fine so whatever your code is just write that code and after that wrap it wrap it in this while loop these four lines okay and in this between you have to write the code this is nothing but my test case loop this is nothing but the test case loop and it is used extensively in competitive programming so this is how you take input and print the output it is very 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 simple fine thank you